Hello, hello, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you guys been blessed, man. Been safe out there. Uh, today's video, I'm gonna talk to you guys or show you how to uh, replace the air holes and the electrical cable that goes from the, that connects the tractor to the trailer with the glad hands and everything. I hope you guys find this video informative. Please like and subscribe, share. I'm sure it'll help somebody out uh, that is just getting familiarized with trucks. So I hope you guys enjoy the video, man, and enjoy the, the little ride that we got over here going on. This beautiful view. On chain up, baby. We put socks on. You feel me? We don't chain up. We put socks on, bro. You dig? Look at the highway. I'm in Oregon right now. Look at the highway. Stopped. family so these are the tools we're gonna use to replace the air holes now I only have a leak on this one but I'm gonna go ahead and replace all three of them hi right, guys so I only ended up using uh, these two tools luckily I have this 18 inch that really comes in handy for me and um, and this 12 inch uh, I'm guessing if you have any one of these you can use these or anything similar to that um, or you can just buy some new glad hands it was real hard to take my glad hands out I'm gonna clean them up, I'm gonna clean them up. it was real hard they were really stuck I couldn't do it with with just two hands so I ended up putting Sometimes you gotta get a little creative, man. I ended up putting this branch right here like that up against this right here. And then I will use it to hold the glad hand. Like right there, you wanna hold it in this thick part right here. So you wanna put the, the percent wrench like right there on this thick part right here. Right, and then I used the big one because it was so tight to basically unscrew this. So now I'm going to do the basically the same thing right here. On this one it should be easier and then I'm going to unscrew these. And then uh, I'm going to try to reuse this same wrap because I kind of don't like this one. And uh, I'm going to let you guys know how, how it's going to end up looking. Alright guys so I'm 
I'm already done taking the whole air holes out. Um, so now I'm going to start installing the new one. Make sure you add Teflon tape on the tips and go against the go against the grain. And on the electric, you want to add some dielectric grease. And, uh, I installed everything. As you can see, I'm going to hit it with my magic secret tool for air leaks. As you guys know, the lights are working. The lights are definitely working. So now it's just time to push in the red valve in and uh, see if there's air leaks. So you gotta hit it, you know, make sure that there's no leaks nowhere. No leaks. No leaks. I gotta tighten this one up a little bit. This one's leaking a lot. And then this one's fine. That one got no leaks. So I gotta tighten the this red one. And this blue one needs a little bit of a tightening. Alright, so since I like the old curl, because it was covered more it covered more cable more holes i decided to unwrap the old one and get the holes covered the holes covered sorry um basically throw the new one away so this is pretty much you know how it's looking nice and neat not rubbing against nothing I am gonna bring that a little bit more like right here and that's about it I cut some of the cover of the old one I cut it off and I put it there to make it like longer I don't know it looks nicer and I also put some over here you can see the difference in the color shading but yeah that's pretty much it pretty much done all right guys so the first thing you want to do is re uh, push out the red valve uh, basically releasing your your trailer brakes and then you want to take out uh, everything you want to you know take out the everything basically then you want to come on this side unplug it here and start screwing these in now these are the new ones um, but yeah you want to start unscrewing all of these in and uh, you want to start taking this apart organizing everything and like I mentioned before you want to make sure that this is not touching the catwalk man very important uh, then, that's, uh, then you want to take off all the glad hands like on after you've unscrewed them in you know basically plug in the new ones in and screw them back in clean everything out all the glad hands and it's a pretty simple job it's nothing hard pretty pretty simple it was my first time doing it you just need the right tools and you'll be able to do it uh, like I mentioned before I took out the cover that came with the holes because I like the cover that my holes had originally and I put it back on. As you can see, it covers a lot more. I don't know, it just looks nicer too. So yeah, man, and um, that's pretty much it. And look at the little setup. I'm, it's my first time doing it. If I can do it, you can do it too, you know? But you do gotta make sure that the red line is connected and the blue, and the blue line is connected to the right spot, you know? And that's about it. Checked both sides like if I was doing like a wide turn and um, you always gotta check that man because you know like basically kind of jackknife your trailer a little bit to kind of 
kind of see, um, kind of see like if you know if you didn't if you didn't if you didn't if you didn't put it right, pretty much. You know you want to double check your work. You don't want to be at a shipper or a receiver or somewhere. You know doing a jackknife into a parking or whatever and your hose is popped because you didn't do it right I just always like to double check to make sure well guys thank you for watching the video I hope you found it informative and helpful I wish you guys the best please like and subscribe if you have any questions feel free to write a comment I will gladly reply to it pretty simple job um, you know, it's pretty simple. I did it in like 30, 40 minutes, and that's because it's my first time, and I had a couple little hassles with some of the screws that weren't uh, really coming out easily. But yeah, man, um, please like and subscribe once again, and thank you for watching. God bless you.